Okay, last time. Uh, this is my third time trying to record this video. I keep having technical difficulties and I'm not sure why. But um, let me just start with uh, my water usage. Uh, I estimated I would use between 110 and 120 a week, which is pretty close to what y'all said. So I, I would, if I had to guess, I would say we take the average person and tell them to guesstimate with that table. They would probably come up with a similar number. Uh, they would tell them what they would come up with if they didn't have that table because I would have never guessed that I actually used that much, to be honest with you. I never had a clue that um, just the little things we do actually take up so much water from this. But uh, my chart, let's see. For the week, I used a total of 808 mm -hmm. gallons. And then um, day one through seven, uh, each day I used approximately, from day one to day seven, it was 110, 101, 115, 116, 107. 130, 121 for total, 808. I don't really know how accurate that is because all this stuff is just guesstimation. It could have been more, could have been less. <clears throat> but um, I guess I'll just get into the uh, the discussion questions. So, um, why do I think so much water is needed to raise a calf? Well, like anything else, I mean, they're growing animals. They're going to need water to for basic nutrients and functions and everything else. Uh, most Mostly water weight, and they got to replenish that, everything that they lose. So being someone that's growing that big, they're probably going to need more water than average. <clears throat> um, that's a real simplified version. I don't know very much about cows uh, or what it takes to raise a cow or anything like that, uh, quite frankly. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. All right. Make a list of the ways you use water indirectly. Indirectly? Um, maybe like cooking. Would be the first one that comes to my mind. Uh, cleaning. Uh, cleaning items. Like, let's say, for example, I ate a lot of rice. So, you have to have, like, I use, like, a cup of water every time I cook rice. And that's just if I eat, I don't know if, like, Girlfriend eats with me, we'll use even more water than that uh, just to cook or to clean. She loves to clean. Um, so maybe use water for cleaning, like wiping down the, the counters and stuff. A little bit of water, a little bit of bleach, something like that. Um, in other indirect ways, I mean, I can't really. Yeah, I would have never guessed any of these in this table 2.5. Um, I did not include any of these in my calculations because that's not really went through my mind. I was thinking like showers, bathroom, you know, what it asked for indirectly would have never hit across my mind. Um, I feel like it'd be really hard to decrease the use of indirect water. Maybe just like instead of running the faucet every time I need water for cleaning, like run some into like a bowl or something and just use that water the whole time or and i guess i mean if you consider like brushing teeth and stuff indirect but i would consider that direct personally but um and what could i do to reuse reduce the use of direct water this is the one this one would be let's see if you live by yourself you know, like me, like I drink a lot of water, uh, at least a gallon a day, which is where a lot of my water usage came from, is from the toilet, because I drink so much water. But um, I mean, if you live by yourself, I guess if you're just peeing out straight water, you could wait and flush it all later, as long as that's all it was. But I mean, living with people, I don't really know how well they would be okay with that, to be honest with you. It's not really very sanitary. Um, when I brush my teeth, I already cut it off whenever. I'm actually brushing my teeth and let it run the whole time. I'm not one of them. So I already do that. So, see, when I wash dishes, though, I like to let the water run the whole time I'm washing dishes. And I like have all of my dishes from the day in the sink. So that's probably like a good five minutes. And, uh, yeah, I just don't think to cut the water off because then it gets cold and I have to get it hot again. Because we don't have the best 
water heater at my apartment, but uh, I could definitely start um, cutting that off <laughs> after I'm not actually rinsing dishes off. I have a bad habit of just letting that run. I cut down on my shower time. I spend like 10 minutes in the shower. I could definitely get everything I needed done in like half of that, to be honest with you. Um, like I said before, um, putting water in a bowl and then just keep using that instead of let it run every time. Or I could just use my dishwasher, which I'm not really a fan of the dishwasher personally. I'd rather hand wash all my stuff than put it in the dishwasher. But, um, I probably would save me a lot of water if I use a dishwasher instead of trying to hand wash. And um, I have not caught on any evidence that the water supply, water supply is shrinking or being contaminated, to be quite honest with you. It's not something I look for or really pay attention to. But at the same time, I mean, I haven't really noticed it either. But, I mean, I guess to go about it, it would just be like uh, Google, honestly. Look it up, do my own research, try and figure this stuff out. Uh, that's the only way to really know for sure or to find out the answers that I need is to just look it up. Um, let's see here. Overall, with the water stuff, uh, I feel like people use a lot more water than they're aware of. Uh, I think they waste a lot more water than they're aware of as well. Um, water usage could be cut down a lot if people really just put forth an effort and tried, but no one really just pays attention to it or thinks about it. That's not something that's just on everybody's mind as being fixing, to be honest with you. They just think there's just a never ending supply of water that <clears throat> people don't have to worry about losing. Now, I think we could, we should try and work on that. Like everybody, I think it's something everybody needs to know and work on, but will that happen? Probably not. But yeah, now moving forward. I know for my uh, seed germination, you just wanted a, a picture of my setup and uh, my data. But I'm just going to talk about that a little bit since y'all did that experiment in this uh, video and just share with some ideas on it. Um, I had it written down. I think I deleted it because I <laughs> recorded this video already. Great. Um, let me just go through my pHs. So I did five instead of four since you gave me the extra stuff because i wanted a broader ph range so i got uh phs of in order three four five seven and ten so they're kind of spread out the ph of 10 was just uh naoh let me get you the names for these instead of just chemical formula actually one second one second Sodium hydroxide will have a pH of 10. Very basic. Very basic. But, you know, you just try them and see. Trial and error. Experimentation. Vinegar had a pH of 3. Which we already knew that. And then I used sodium phosphate, which had a pH of 5. Disodium phosphate. I think that's what that is. No, that's not right. Forgive me. Monosodium phosphate. I think that's what that is. pH of 7, and then vinegar and sodium hydroxide at a pH of 4. And we're going to see how those go. Um, I started my experiment Sunday, so I'm only like four days in but i'm not really seeing the best results yet to be honest with you and it could just be user error problem with a setup or something but not really seeing what i expected but we'll just keep going keep tracking my data and see where i went wrong so i can fix it next time or either maybe i just didn't give it enough time yet to actually take effect and work good i'm not really sure but it's the only way to find out just keep going but um that's really it 
as far as this video goes, like I said, I'll send in my data and my picture for my seed germination and my table for uh, my water usage. I'll put the table for my water usage in this Dropbox and I'll have to wait for the uh, seed germination for my 10 days to be up, which I think is next Tuesday. So it's not too far away. And I'll try to get you that then, but yeah.